Hello everyone! In this video, I will show you how to create Firebase database and link it to your GDevelop project, so you can make leaderboards and much more. In this tutorial, I will be using my Robolite template project. You can download it from the link in the description below. First thing first, go to firebase.google.com and then create a new account if you don't have one. Once you logged in to your account, click go to console. You should see this page here. We are going to make a new project, so click add project. And now we will enter our project name. I am going to name mine, Roguelike Template. Now, make sure enable Google Analytics is checked, then press continue. Here, we will select our default account for Firebase, then click create the project. Wait till it create the project. Now click on the web button. Now enter the project app name. You can name it anything you want. I will name mine, Roguelite Template. Click register app. You should see these codes now. Select and copy the codes starting from the opening bracket to the closing bracket. Go back to GDevelop and open the project. Go to Project Manager, Properties, then scroll down all the way to the bottom till you see Firebase, and then paste the code. Now, we must edit these codes, add a quotation mark before and after every word in the lines. For example, API key should be quotation mark API key quotation mark, and do the same for all the other words in the codes. Click Apply, then go back to Firebase. Then click on Go to Console, then click on Builds, and then Firestore Database. Click on Create Database. Here, you can choose any location you want. I will leave it to the default, click Next, and now, make sure you are on Start on Production Mode, and then click Create. Now click on Start Collection. Set the name to Leaderboard with L capital ladder. We use this name because in the template events I use the name Leaderboard as well. But if you are not following the template, you can pick any name you want. Then click on Auto ID. And then Save. Now click on Rules. And here, we will leave the codes exactly the same. But we will replace False with True. And then click Publish. Then go back to data. And now, our database is ready. You can now go back to GDevelop. And now let's play the game to check if our Firebase is working correctly. I played the game, and now let's go back to Firebase and see what happened. As you can see, we got a new created document with my username, which is the name I entered in the game, and inside the document, we have two fields. The timer score field, which is the player survive time score, and username field, which is the player profile username. And in the game, if you go to leaderboard, we will see the player username and his score. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to download the Roguelite template and see how we use Firebase, conditions and actions in GDevelop, then you can download the template from the link in the description below.